Yo, what is up, people? Smash to the motherfucking R. Here today. Here the motherfucking day, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, 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 fuck it. Ah. Here to give you water moat, a.k.a. It's not my fault. I'm not popular. Episode 5, motherfucking review. Okay, okay. I was on the ropes with this shit. I literally was. I was like, oh, my God. Should I continue watching it? And I mean, after like the rape thingy, and the molestation on the train, I was like, ah, I'll give it another episode. Cause fuck it, fuck it. And you know what? I like this episode because I'm starting to do what I was recommended, and that is to take it as high school, and that emotion that you feel when you're alone or an outcast and shit. So I'm like, hell yeah, boy. Fuck, fuck it, fuck it. Anyway, anyway. Okay, this episode can basically be broken down into three parts. There's when she tries to be emotionless. When she tries to be emotional. And then, oh my god, what was the last one? Oh, fuck. Fuck it, let's just talk about the shit. Let's just talk about the shit. Okay. So first, she tries to be emotionless. And I personally have done some shit like that. Hell yeah, I'm a king of emotionless. And so, guys, what happened was she, like, um, um, what would be the word? Um, man, fuck that shit, fuck that shit. Okay, so she's emotionless, and she's just, like, going through her entire day without, like, doing shit. Like, she's eating lunch. She's about to start crying. Oh, my God. And but the funny moment came after that when she goes into the coffee shop and she orders. <laughs> she's like, "What do the T and G stand for? What do the T and G stand for? What do the fucking T and G stand for?" Tone grande, tone grande. Even I, fuck, fuck. I don't even drink coffee. Shit, it makes me too hype. Fuck. What I will say though, is that it was funny as shit. She's like, "Giant, <laughs> oh grande. Here you go. It is a giant ass cup." And it's like, it's like the size of her head. It's crazy big. And she takes a sip of, um, it was, um, I believe, um, a cappuccino. Because she got a recommendation from Yui. Fuck, fuck her name. He got a recommendation. And so that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, when she was drinking, she's like, oh, it's bitter. And then she looked, she saw the table of condiments. Shit you can add to your shit to you, you can add to your coffee. And she just looking like, Am I stealing this? I'm like, ah shit, get the fuck out of here. And then she starts pouring it in, and then when it comes to the honey, she overdoes it. She she takes a sip. Disgusting. And she tries to get away and she falls flat in her face. She cries. Oh my god. And then we see a scene, cause what got her into it is like this fucking thing on TV about an alien girl and a boy, and she was always quiet and love and all that shit. Fuck it. But what I will say is that when she went to her brothers, like I'm sorry for drinking your, <laughs> uh, cause he wa she wanted to be like more emotional and shit and smile and laugh and all that shit. But what she decided to do was she was gonna go take pictures from this like um what was what did they fucking call it like a fucking machine. They take pictures, like a photo booth, but it was like one of those versions where it's like, oh, you're so beautiful. It has like a person and a little like animatronic being in there. Fuck it, fuck it. Okay, and so she goes to her brother to apologize for drinking a sport drink. And this bitch, this bitch, she brought out some Coca-Cola. <laughs> The dude's like, get the fuck out of I don't, want, I don't give a fuck. It's like, but you got picture frames over there. It just shows, it just pans with this nigga's thing. There are a whole bunch of, like, picture, picture boxes and stuff. Stick for stickers? Hell yeah. I was like, oh my god. But then this is when that shit happened. I was laughing my ass off. She, she opened up the fucking can. It's like, she fucking shot out. And it started getting out the nigga's floor, just making a giant ass pile. <laughs> and you just see this nigga saying, get out. This dude, bro. This dude. Fucking brother. <laughs> oh my god. Brother, oh my god. 
she hurt herself. She's like, oh my god. It's like, and then, and then, oh my god, and then he goes to the photo booth. Oh my god, before that shit, before that shit, funniest shit ever. It was supposed to be sad as shit, but it was funny. Oh my god, it was so funny. Maybe it's what I'm taking as funny is because I personally, going through high school, I wasn't that. What would you? What would you call? I couldn't say I wasn't popular, but I was depressed and all that shit. And I was emotionally just departed and shit. Oh my god, fucking high school. But the thing was though that for some reason I had a lot of friends in all types of places, but yet I myself didn't fit in with any of the places. Like I'd have one dude from the football team as my friend, and one dude from band as my friend, and one dude that's a little nerd as my friend, and one dude who's a computer jockey as my friend. Well, technically speaking, like five of them. Fuck it. And then one dude who's who's on the track team as my friend. One dude in the basketball court that's my friend. One hot ass chick that I want to fuck as my friend. Fuck. I'm just saying, just saying, weird shit. She's having a fucking call with her friend, and she's like, she gives this hype ass idea, takes a picture, she's like, yeah, 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 she puts on her fucking phone, ah, so you try, could you go out with me? And there's fucking heavy music playing, and she's like, uh-huh, and the music slows down, uh-huh, oh, okay, I was laughing my fucking ass, I was like, ah! Shit, shit, shit. We, we, we've all had that shit happen before. When you got your bro, when you call up one of your boys and he's like, oh, fuck that shit. Ah, oh. that was some good ass shit. Ah. <laughs> what I will say though is I enjoyed that moment very much. And then, of course, when she goes to take photos, it's like she's in there in animatronic fucking being or whatever, fuck, cold. I don't know what to call it because I was partly in computers, so I know the technical definition, sort of. But uh, fuck it, it was fucking machine. Fuck it, it was machine animatronic monster. Fuck it, idol bitch. Fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Anyways, he's like, smile. Now I'll do the pose. I'm like, oh, yeah, don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> then she's like, do the heart pose. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And then, and then she gets the pictures, and they look horrible. They look like, like, oh my god, when I saw those pictures, I, oh my god. And what does she do with them? Oh my god, what does she do with them? Ah, she puts them in this nigga's room. The dude walks in there, and he's looking around, and he's like, hmm? And these pictures were creepy as shit. <laughs> they were on the nigga's light. That's how you know the bitch is dedicated. She put them on the nigga's light. <laughs> Oh my god, I enjoyed I enjoyed this episode a lot. And then oh my god. Oh, shit. I'm trying to remember what happened after that. And why the fuck can I remember? Huh. Let me see real quick. I can remind myself. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And so she decides her third thing is that she decides that she's gonna be a cigarette girl, like a bartender in one of those CZ clubs. That's technically speaking like prostitution, but not prostitution. It's like strip club. Waitress fucking. And so she's like, okay, I gotta learn how to light a cigarette. And so this bitch goes to the park with a lighter. <laughs> and of course she had trouble lighting that at first when the dude was like, oh my god, he already lit already. Then there's this dude, right? And it's nighttime. And she's fucking like, the dude pulls out a cigarette, and she lights the lighter. She's like, I finally matched the lighting the lighter. And this dude is just looking over at the light, because he doesn't have a lighter on him. And I'm just laughing my ass off. Because this girl's just like, Tch. And then he, this dude's like, I'm like, get the fuck out. You know, she practiced to stir the drinks. That was funny shit. Her brother was making, like, a fucking coffee or some shit. I don't know exactly what it was. Maybe tea. And he walked away because he's like, oh, there's no sugar. And as he's going away, his sister just fucking... Takes off into the kitchen. 
And she starts adding ice cubes into it and then stirring it around with chopsticks. <laughs> dude's like, the dude's looking like... Huh? I'm like, get the fuck out of this dude. <laughs> when he gets angry, our face just blackens. I love that. I love that shit. <laughs> she adds it to him. This nigga's just like... <laughs> And then, of course, she goes actually down into the downtown Tokyo area. And there were, there was one funny moment, and then the rest of it was like a giant funny moment. But the funny moment, oh my god, it, it, um, she's walking, and she's like, look at all these lights and all that shit. And all of a sudden, she just sees this dude being approached by what I'm going to assume is a pimp. But, but I don't know, because I was thinking he might have been like a manager for the strip club. Because that would make a lot more sense. Pimp in Japan, uh, uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, it, there could be. Hell yeah, there could be. Wait, don't they have like a sex trade down there or something? I don't know. Fuck, fuck. All I'm going to say is that then the dude starts walking towards her and she's just getting scared as shit. And then he just fucking goes past. I'm laughing my ass off. I'm like, what ah, and she's like, oh, cute and beautiful woman. How would you like to make a lot of money? I'm like, oh my god. And then she's looking around and she sees like thugs and shit. And she just gets scared. She takes off running into the middle of a street. And then that was basically the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall, I enjoyed this fucking episode. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. I mean, yeah, hell yeah, it was a quick fucking review. I'm not gonna lie. But fuck it. I enjoyed the episode. It was it was pretty funny. This dude, bro, this dude. That's all I'm gonna say about that shit. Okay, so I'm gonna give this bucket. I'm gonna give it an 8. 8 out of 10. It was a good-ass episode. I mean, it was entertaining. It was funny. And I enjoyed it. Like, fuck it, why not? And so, yeah, it gets 8 out of 10. Smithers are giving you Watamote, a.k.a. It's Not My Fault, I'm Not Popular. Episode 5, motherfucking review. Comment down below what you thought about the episode. Please do, please do. Like the video if you like the vi if you agree with me. Dislike the video if you don't. If you disagree and you don't like my opinion. Fuck it, why not? Do what you do. Fuck it. I'm going to do what I do. And subscribe if you want to see more. So, Smith